For low delay filter banks, it is useful to process the samples as they come from the sound card. Hence, we need a different implementation, an implementation which is not based on the signal already in memory. To obtain it, we interpret the z to the power of minus 1 as a delay by one sample and implement it using a memory element which stores or delays samples for one sampling interval. So the delay matrix D of z, for instance, for instance can be implemented as follows in Python. We will now take a look at the real-time MDCT or low delay filter bank implementation producing a waterfall spectrogram including the synthesis filter bank and playback of the reconstructed signal. For that, we are going to, to use a NumPy, SciPy signal, Pi audio, and uh, just IPy widgets to so some controls of the GUI. We are going to use CV2 this time, OpenCV, to plot our spectrogram. Here we are defining some signal processing parameters such as the number of subbands and the block size, uh, the number of audio channels, the sampling rate, and here are some parameters to plot our spectrogram. At this point we are defining our D of C matrix. Here is the inverse of D of C matrix. Here is the F A F matrix. Here is the inverse F matrix. And here is the DCT4 transform. And here is the complete MDCT analysis. So the inverse MDCT is the synthesis. And we have here. So here we have all the elements required to have a complete MDCT analysis and synthesis filter banks. Here I'm just defining a GUI so we can control uh, our spectrogram start and stop. I'm running on a separate thread so we can have the Pi audio working with audio, OpenCV working with image and we can still access our buttons. So here is the function to plot the um, DCT. So uh, as usual we read the audio input stream into data, the blocks of length are equal to chunk size. Here we will shift a frame up for our spectrogram. Here is the analysis MDCT of the input. Here we can do some processing if we want. Here we are defining for our waterfall color mapping. And we are defining our frames for our OpenCV. Here we are displaying the frames. Then we are taking the inverse or the synthesis MDCT to get the reconstructed a signal and then we write the samples as an audio stream and here when we stop the OpenCV we want to um, release the capture. So here is just a thread that I'm running this function here and here we will start the audio and here we will display the, the buttons to start. So now if I start, hello, we have here our MDCT spectrogram. And then we stop and this is our demo.